What's shaking, Chewy Nation? Chewbacca Lemon here, back with another half hour only sniping video. This one's gonna be a little different because we're gonna focus on overpricing in this video. So that's gonna be the start of the video. I'm gonna show you how that works. We're gonna make a lot of coins doing that, and then we'll go into maybe something a little more spicy and try to get some big hits uh, uh, in the latter half. So it'll be broken up into a couple of different segments. First half focus on overpricing ish, and then the last half focus on big snipes. So hope you guys do enjoy. Hopefully we hit some good stuff, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's it. I want to thank you guys so much for the support. You guys have been absolutely amazing, absolutely incredible. Welcome all new people who have come. You guys have been you guys have been absolutely amazing. So thank you, thank you very much. And uh, if you have no idea what I'm talking about and don't know how to use mutt head or anything like that, you're not sure what this whole sniping thing's about. I did put out a basic sniping tutorial right at the top of the description you can click on that link less than 13 minutes and yeah it should uh, it should help you it should help you out there so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how overpricing works now this I got a new chair as you see cool uh, this is so good that uh, everybody really needs to know how to do it and you guys will see how easy it is to make coins so this is this is something that is so simple that I I, I know that many of you guys know how to do it but just showing you like you can basically do it at any time and get any card you not any card you want but you can do like any filter and it basically will work okay so we just saw a hunter henry sell for 72 but let's go ahead and just do it by buy now okay so the cheapest tight end so i'm on tight end 80 to 81 is, is zach Ertz here so i'm gonna go ahead and just go to eagles we'll see if that actually is the cheapest it is so you see a bunch of them so zach Ertz at 6800 so i'll go ahead and type this into my head and go ahead and see that okay so 6800 you're like okay that's not a good deal uh, the last one sold for 10500 Before that, 58 9 65 7 4 65 84 89 That's all in the last, like, eight minutes. Uh, hello? So you can just go ahead and buy this and go ahead and sell it for... That's in the last eight minutes. So you don't... I'll go ahead and put it up for... I mean, if you want to get really crazy, you could definitely try to get 10000 But But it seems like it's easily going to get, like, 89 So there you go. Uh, you just made... I like I, something just sold. That's awesome. But that was so simple. Uh, that is how overpricing works. You can do that at any time. The other one was uh, Hunter Henry. So we just go Chargers. You see one at 69, so I'll go ahead and type in Hunter Henry. And go ahead and see if Hunter Henry also... Uh, all right, in the last 13 minutes, uh, the most I see is 99, 88. Uh, so nothing too crazy. So I do see one for 99. If you go back even farther than that, uh, you will see even more. 88, 96... 89 uh, so yeah these sell all the time it doesn't you really don't want your card to be the cheapest one up ever so it's really simple any position you can do it any position just make sure you're buying the cheapest one I recommend because uh, save yourself some coins so we'll go left tackle and we'll see if we can get some good luck there all right so you got, oh this is this has to be a buy right I don't see any other one so we'll go ahead and buy him uh, we'll go ahead and buy uh, I just forgot who it was Villanueva and go ahead and see if that was indeed a great deal or just an okay deal so we just got it for 73 the last one sold for nine I see a lot for nine um, so nine might be the move but we'll see if we can get if there's any more besides that 11 5 11 10 uh, there hasn't been too many of that high though so uh, we'll just go ahead and get nine out of it so not too much there but that was pretty easy uh, and you can do that with basically any of the cheapest. Okay, so Staley here for six thousand. So we'll go ahead and buy that. So Mr. Staley, let's go ahead and see how we did on Staley. Uh, Staley one just sold for eight thousand, and I just made a big boo boo. Uh, not big by big, I mean minor small. That six thousand was actually not the cheapest Staley up. You're actually going to see when I go to. Uh, 49ers here that though that was a really good deal there's a quite a lot around the 6,000 mark and you can easily buy these like look this is so simple and you can flood your auction house especially if you're doing solos this is definitely one you're gonna make a lot more doing this and you're gonna do solos but say you want to do solos up your ranking you don't want to play head-to-head -head, that kind of thing uh, let's go and see if we if anybody that was all in like the last five minutes there's so many of these selling uh, so 882 9 nothing really uh, much better than that. Let's just go 82. There's only I saw only one nine. A lot of them around 885. So we'll go there. So yeah, that's basically a gimme. You could buy 61 as well, and you could keep going. I'm gonna go through and show uh, just how easy. All right, Decker. I think that's. I'm just gonna buy. It. That's gotta be a good deal. So let's go ahead and buy that. Uh, Decker. 
And we'll go ahead and do that. And I just bought that. One just sold for 10 5 uh, That's the most by far, though. So I just bought that for 7 uh, Let's see what they're selling for. 85 88 A lot of them, like, mid-7s to mid eight. So a one just sold for for 10 5 So you know what? Let's we'll put this up for 10 uh, which, again, you might have to repost, but the thing is, one, it's not really a big deal if you have to repost, uh, unless you just hate reposting, which I can understand that, uh, but you don't, it's not really that big a deal if you have to repost, but also, wait till it expires. If you're not sure, like, you're like, I don't know if, that's, if I should have did that or not, uh, I didn't mean to do Colts, but wait till it's close to expiring, and you can, uh, you can make, uh, you can definitely get a lot of your stuff selling right before it expires. All right, so IU Potty here. Uh, let's see what he goes for. So, uh, let's see. If this was... The last one sold for 89 8900 uh, A lot of them selling for, like, mid-7s and stuff. So, you may not be able to make too much there on IU Potty. Uh, unless it sells for 89 That's pretty solid, of course. Um, but, yeah. So, any position. This works so well that you're going to be able to uh, center. I, those don't, there's not really a whole lot of centers here. And notice I'm doing 80 81 So, these are the cheap elites. The cheap elites. The reason I skipped like the skill positions was just because uh, there's so many up that uh, it's a little bit harder to see what the cheapest one up is. But I can show you what it would look like at wide receiver and stuff. So we'll go ahead and check this uh, Havenstein out. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it Havenstein. Uh, we'll check him out. 71, all around mid-7s, so you're not probably going to make too much there. I mean, you could. Uh, definitely there's potential there. So, so let's say you wanted to snipe or try to overprice quarterbacks. You're thinking there's... There's good value there. Uh, you see that um, there's the cheapest Dalton is up for 67, but look, we just see 4600. So we'll go ahead and buy that. So Dalton, 4600. Let's see. There's also one up for 4800. If you're curious, I mean, if you're interested in just keep buying Daltons. Uh, the last one sold for 66. I see a 79, 76, 75, all in the last like five minutes. So yeah, it's super easy. Go ahead, Lawrence Timmons sold awesome. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and buy. That one as well, because that's just too easy. Okay, we almost want to buy that one as well, but you guys get the point. You don't need to, um, but I will show you. Okay, so Tannehill, you can do the same thing. Of course, you don't want to buy... I mean, there's probably a cheaper Tannehill. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So, this is this is pretty easy, uh, and it's especially good. Uh, 367 is what? 994... Nine, um, all in the last 10 minutes. So I could have probably got more out of it, but I decided just to go there. Uh, so you could technically buy those as well. You may not want to stock up on one card. You never really know what the market will do. You don't want to stop, but it's basically like to get your money back, it's so simple. Obviously, I'm going to get my money back on uh, on that Tannehill way more. That Tannehill was a fantastic deal. But uh, you see Jeremy Hill, there's a lot around that price. So maybe you want to stay away from Jeremy Hill there, but but really, that's uh, that's what you're looking for. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Marshall Fox. Let's see if there's any good Marshall Fox. The legends are a little bit harder to snipe, but it's not that it can't be done. Uh, but let's go ahead and see our overprice. Let's go ahead and check out Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. So, so these were 14. Let's see what he's selling for. The last one sold for 16 a minute ago. Uh, 18, 250, 15, 750, 17, 750. Oh my goodness! Actually, these are money. So we'll go ahead and buy that. Uh, 16, we could sell it for easily. 17, 750. There's an 18 in there. Oh, wow. 15, 750. So I think this is easily 16 uh, for sure. So we'll go ahead and buy that and put them up. And I will show you this stuff selling. So don't uh, don't think that this is just made up. We see that one at 15 about to expire. My guess is it probably will buy a sell right before it expires. So don't get too caught up on, well, I'm not sure if it's going to... If it's going to sell or not, because honestly, it almost always does. Uh, right right at the end. It's, it's pretty crazy. Uh, you just got to make sure to wait. Uh, so let's check if we got any good deals on Falcons wide receiver. We got Sanu at 64. I'm sure you can definitely overprice as well. So you see how, I mean, I probably made, I've made a lot of coins already. And you really don't have to do too much besides just look on my head and enjoy all those coins. For sure. So like I said, just look for... Just, okay, so we'll look at Steelers here. You got a few corners that fit the bill and see. You got 5,700 for uh, Mr. Ross. 
So if that if you wanted to see if like hey can I make coins on that, uh, there's really low there's not like you don't really have to be super quick on these either. Um, 57, 8, 5, 92, 8, 59, 8, 71. Hello? So there, you can easily, you can see it selling for 8. Okay, I didn't get that one. You can buy the one for 6, too, uh, if you wanted. But, but yeah, that's, uh, that's it. You can do that for any position, sniping any single position, or overprice any position, uh, for sure. But what we're going to do now, so we spent a decent chunk on that. I think you got the point. Uh, hopefully that helped, uh, especially starting out. We're going to do 84 to 85. I don't know if position by position will work, but we'll try it out. There might be too, too few cards, but if this is too much, I might try to do, I might try to do uh, uh, chemistries as well. Because uh, it looks like there's, you know, there's not a whole lot of cards that fit this, uh, fit this, dis this uh, description, 84 to 85. Uh, maybe we should maybe we should tone it down to 82 to 83. Let's see how that works. Is there too many there? No. Okay. So maybe we'll we'll stick to 82 to 83 for now and see if uh, if that works. Okay. Bradford at 86. Um, let's see. Let's check out Bradford. I don't understand how he's an 82 overall, but you know what? Who am I to judge? Uh, looks like we can sell it for like 12. Uh, there's a lot around the wall. Yeah, you could. You could. Uh, but we'll go ahead and see if we can get something else. Okay, so this looks like a fun filter. Running back. Let's see if wide receiver. Is there too many wide receivers? No, not. I was kind of worried about that, but there is not. Probably not that many tight ends. Just Gates and Witten, really. So so we won't focus on that. Uh, linebackers, probably not too much. So really, you probably just want to do maybe quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and corner perhaps uh that's probably your best bet if you are sniping this but uh we'll see we're trying to we'll see if we can get something really big in here uh for for the video free safety not so much and then uh, strong safety no all right quarterback eli bradford Let's see, uh, the mutt head was acting kind of funky when I was looking at Bradford, but uh, we'll see. The last one did sell for twelve seven fifty. Like it's definitely like it almost it is telling me like, hey, maybe you should maybe I should buy that uh, Bradford at eighty six. Um, ooh, Alex Smith at eighty five. Let's go ahead and buy that. All right, let's check out Alex Smith. I like that one a little bit better. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. Alex Smith. Uh, looks like he is worth a little bit more than. Than Bradford, so it's a little bit safer. One to sold for 13, one to sold for 21. <laughs> uh -huh. You could try, uh, but we'll put ours up for, uh, looks like 12 looks like a pretty safe number, so we'll put ours up for 12. Uh, I feel pretty good about that. Uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty easy. Uh, you got Eli, Bradford again, uh, Anderson, Gurley. Okay, so quarterback, running back, wide receiver work really well here. Uh, it looks like, and corner is probably pretty solid. And then and then just rinse and repeat. I think this could be pretty good uh, for overpricing as well, as well as just... Okay, let's look at uh, William Gay here. Uh, hasn't, oh, Claiborne. I missed Claiborne. Wow, he was right before my eyes and I missed him. Okay, this one, one just sold for 13, 11, 11, 11. There's so many 11s. Uh, whoops. So we'll put ours up for 13 ourselves. Uh, unfortunately, we missed the Claiborne. I think that was a pretty good deal on the Claiborne. I got so caught up on the the William Gay there, but uh, still still happy with it. I just wait. Is there not? That's got to be a good deal, right? I one just sold for that, but I I mean, let's see. Uh, one just sold for 11, 14, 5, 14, 14, 15. All right, so pretty good. Sell for fifteen. Oh, we're gonna fill up our auctions pretty fast, uh, for sure. Uh, but I'll show you the stuff selling. Uh, at the end, showing what I made and all that stuff. Uh, very similar to what... Is that another 11? Oh my goodness, they're flooding it. Uh, very similar to what uh, Mr. TT23 does. A little bit different. Uh, th maybe very similar. I'm not 100% sure how he laid it out. But uh, yeah, he's a, he's a good friend. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's he does... He usually shows you know what he, what he actually made. I generally just say I'm making it and just go with it, but... Uh, maybe I'll steal that from him. Amerson for 97. 
Because I'm sure you guys are probably questioning, like, is these really going to sell? I mean, granted, you can see for yourself. You can go on Mudhead and see that these are selling for that. But you don't necessarily know that mine are selling for that. So i got to make sure to show you that, especially when I'm doing this sort of method. So be on the lookout at the end of the video for me showing you the prices, the, the card selling. Uh, real quick, I want to check. Okay, i got five free auctions. So that is the one thing. So if you're doing solos or playing head to head, if you just want to like play a game head to head, but you want to, you know, you're a no money spent kind of guy, uh, I would encourage you maybe to get on the auction house, uh, overprice some cards, and then go ahead and get back on uh, after. Uh, I mean, go ahead and play a game and come back and then rinse and repeat if you uh, if you want to not spend money and make a really good team. It's a really good method. It will make you a lot of coins, and you will be extremely happy when you see that number up in the corner saying how many coins you have, it will be a lot. Uh, Eli, is that a good deal on Eli? I haven't seen him that price. Uh, it says 14, so I'm guessing he's fallen quite a lot. Uh, 15 is the cheapest. I don't really see any selling for more than 15, though, so uh, I will pass on Eli. Tevin Coleman at 29. He seems to be being put up quite a lot, so I will pass on Coleman. Uh, but uh, we'll see. We're we're well in this video, making a lot of coins. Hopefully, some stuff starts selling. But that is the downside of overpricing. Uh, that it might thirteen five. Do I buy that one? No. Even I mean, he does he does sell quite a lot. There's an Alex Smith that I feel like I should buy. Um, well, I'll go ahead and buy the Alex Smith because this is really safe if he's still up. Yeah. Uh, Um, I, yeah, that's okay. I was going to say, I can always put, I can always just tell you what I'm putting them up for if I run out of auctions and then show you them selling off camera. But, uh, that's, I mean, not off camera, but after, at the end. But we'll see. Do I buy this? I think I do. No, there's really not, it's kind of high risk. There's so many being put, not really, I wouldn't say maybe high risk, but, uh, what about CJ Anderson? This filter is crazy. Uh, 12 about the most. He is selling quite a lot, but uh, you could definitely argue to buy that if you, but that's one that I, I think you might notice that you have to keep putting up or uh, there might be, it might be frustrating that card could be to keep having to repost. So I'm going to, I'm going to hold off on, on buying that, but me and the Bradfords, the Alex Smiths, um, a lot of good deals there. A lot of good deals. Hmm. Well, well, well. We got a Gilmore there. No, thank you. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. 15 things on the off shelves. That's pretty awesome. Uh, pretty easy, honestly. We could have kept doing the overpricing as well. But I know you guys, I mean, after what point do you guys are like, okay, I got it. I got it. And I think, I think we're well past that. So we went ahead and switched it to something a little more tasty. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, hopefully the running backs aren't full. I do really like this filter. I really would hate to lose the running backs because I've seen there wasn't one posted for a minute. Uh, so that's, given that this filter is pretty solid, I'm hoping that it's not full. Okay, good, good. I see a CJ Anderson there. I like it. I like it. The 10,000 CJ Anderson is gone, which you would anticipate being such a good deal. But uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We got Emerson at 95. Uh, that might be the cheapest I've ever seen him, but the question is, there's one at 99, can you make anything? I don't think you really can. You could argue it. You could. You could. You could definitely argue uh, Mr. David Amerson, but I'm going to pass. Eli. Nope. No Eli. Running backs. Come on. Show me something. Tevin Coleman. Uh, I love that I'm seeing new cards, though, and they're really good cards, so... You're going to be able to maybe hit something really good. A wide receivers, are they getting too full? Like, how close are we? Okay, we're not that close. Okay, good. Just want to make sure uh, this this is uh, still working well. Come on. Quarterbacks, I think you could overprice pretty easily. Uh, the other positions, maybe a little more. Running backs as well. Um, actually, maybe all of these are probably pretty easy. Uh, basically, any card that sells a lot is going to be super easy to overprice. Uh, by super easy, I mean like ridiculously easy. You're gonna find yourself just, just swimming, just swimming in coins. Unfortunately, we're not hitting anything big, but 
We could always go back and do, you know, just sniping or overpricing, if you want to call it that. Um, but that's okay. We're, we'll see if, if we... Uh, uh, you can also use that same method on golds and many, many different cards. It doesn't just have to be the, the low elites. You really want to focus on cards that sell a lot. That's really what it comes down to when you're sniping. Um, you want cards that sell a lot uh, to, to be able to make sure you're always making stuff. If you always want to focus on getting a big snipe, that's always, that's always tough because there's so much luck involved. I'm not saying you can't get those big snipes. They're, they're out there, um, but... Uh, like, Every minute that you can always get one, but it's this the odds is just you have to whoops you have to refresh at the perfect time, and it's just it's just not likely, guys. But still, you want to use a filter, in my opinion, that allows you to pot potentially hit those big snipes. Come on, see Spencer Ware, Todd Gurley, uh, wide receiver, Allen Robinson. Uh, did I, did I, I said wide receiver is fine, right? Oh, yeah, easily. There's so many. Okay, so many spots available. Good, good. Just making sure there's not too many. Uh, Vontae Davis at 12. Uh, no way this... I, I mean, I've seen him for 10 many times. I can't imagine it's a good deal. Well, okay, it's actually not bad, but... Uh, if it goes a little bit cheaper than that, maybe. Just maybe. Go for about 10 more minutes, and then we'll see... We'll see how we did, but we'll, uh, Mark Ingram at eight. Is that a, is that a good deal? Is that a good deal? Um, doesn't look like it. You could probably overprice it. You'd probably get it like 10, I would say. Um, sell it for 10 and, uh, make a thousand for sure. I would say, not for sure, but I feel like that's probably pretty, pretty easy. 20,000 for Kelvin. Alfred, nope, okay. Man, this card's being put up, just nothing, unfortunately, that's saying buy me. Uh, another Alex Smith, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Easy peasy, I like it. Uh, this will be, uh, we'll try 12.5 here. 12.5 seems pretty good. We put one up for 12, we put one up for 11.5. Let's try 12.5. Okay, 12.750. Uh, 12.750 it is. I think, uh, I think that could be pretty good. You could always bid. I don't like bidding myself. Um, I just think it's just it might be sitting there for 20 minutes trying to get a card But if it's for you more power to you come on uh, Amerson nope 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 okay come on come on come on show me show me a hundred coins Carson at 15 uh, actually, I actually gonna check what he goes for One just got sold for five. Why couldn't I refresh on that? 18. Eh, maybe. It's close. Uh, I probably could buy that. It's super close on that Carson. I feel like I should buy it. If it is it still there? Yeah, I think we should. I see one at 20. Actually, I see a few at 20. Yeah, yeah. we'll try it. Um, uh, but more around 19... Okay, we're we'll gonna sell it for. We'll go. We'll go 19. Don't go too greedy. Don't want to. Uh, minimum amount of amount of reposts. You don't want to push. I guess too far. Well, I mean, if you don't mind reposting, there's really uh, no limit. I guess that you can. You can try. Man, one just sold for five thousand. Why can't we do it? Why can't we be refreshing then? Oh man, corner. Claiborne. A lot of corners put up since I got. Wow, the logo is at 59. That is nuts. That is absolutely nuts. Running back Ingram. No, no new running backs though. But you would think that would be uh, quite a lot of those being put up. But come on, corner, corner, corner. Alfred, there. We will check that. I don't think it's probably a buy, uh, but I will check it. I will check it out. Oh, uh, wow. Actually, is a buy. It actually is a buy. Uh, 14, which is what I was going to put it up for. So that is what I will sell it for. 14, it's not a great deal, but a few thousand coins is a few thousand coins. Thank you very much. 
Still got a few minutes. Uh, we're almost out of auctions, so let's uh, let's end strong. Let's get something. Gilmore at 14. We will look that up. I don't think that's probably. I probably have passed on that earlier. Uh, seven. Oh yeah, we're buying that. We're buying that. Gilmore. Stefan Gilmore. Let's see. If we, I was hoping to sell for like 18 at least. Last one sold for 18.5, 19, 19. Oh, yes, please. 19 it is. Well, that was actually way better than I thought. I almost wasn't even going to look. Uh, so that's good. Easy. Hopefully another one. Show me another one. Nope. Okay. I always like that when you snipe. I say that a lot. But when you snipe and you see like a good deal and somebody undercuts your one that you just sniped, that is always a good feeling. Sam Bradford at 7. Hello. Can I have that? Yes, please. Oops, I just hit, hit Tom Brady. Nope. He also has Brad in his name. Uh, let's see. Just bought it for 7. One just sold for 12.5. So let's try to get that out of him. Uh, you guys you guys will see at the end. I'll talk about this once, uh, once I get all this up and... Uh, it might be full. We are full. Okay, I'll, I'll put it up for 12.5, and then uh, just have to wait to see. But, like I said, I'll show you at the end all my auctions and what they sold for. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll let you know. Uh, so that's going to go up for 12.5. We'll see. We have to sell it for more. I mean, sorry, <laughs> sell it for more. Yeah, uh, that would make sense. Do we buy Matthews here? One just sold for 14.5. I think this is actually worth the risk. I think we can at least sell it for 13. Okay, so if it sells for 13, that's 1,500. Hopefully we can sell it for more. I uh, still got a few minutes, I think. I could be off. We might be way over. I'm not sure, but we'll keep going. Uh, Fonte Davis. Hmm. We could buy that Gilmore another one. Honestly, it probably wouldn't be a terrible idea to buy another Gilmore. Or go girly. Hmm. I wish we had our. Obviously, I wish we had a big snipe, but this still is really good. Um, had some okay deals, but really it comes down to just quantity. Uh, unfortunately, you you. I mean, I feel like there, there's obviously potential here uh, to hit something, but you could always switch it to 84, 85 as well if you're looking for higher price cars. But uh, there's just not as many, obviously, up yet. In the the current the current state of the auction house, but definitely uh, switch that up if you're uh, looking for something a little more exciting for higher price cards, um, for sure. So we got to put up Richard Matthews. We got to put up uh, what was it, Sam Bradford, uh, and hopefully, hopefully something else. Hopefully something really good here. Hmm. Let me get like one more. William Gay. Could still buy that Gilmore. Still there. It's really tempting. I almost feel like I should. That's 2,000 coins that I'm just passing on. Like, why would I pass on that? I just wanted to try. I was trying to get something else. I mean, but especially, I, my auction house is full. I mean, I can always put it up when I'm... So I feel like I should buy it. If it's still there at 15. When I see them selling for 19. happy with that. Alright, we'll, we'll try to get one more at least. One more solid hit, and then we'll we'll come back with our findings. Alex Smith. I really feel like this is going to be a lot of coins. You'll be surprised, honestly, I think, by how many coins we made. Uh, just just doing like the basics, like, a, like bare minimum. Hello? Dang. That would have been good. Um, it would have been solid. By not even like getting anything big, so this is like without even hitting anything, how many coins you can make? It's pretty nuts. Come on, come on, come on. Ingram, still want that one more. I mean, that Richard Matthews would have been good. At ninety-five, Willie Sneed at thirteen. Ooh, one at ten. I, that Richard Matthews needs to be buy, but I want a bot. But I need to check this Willie. Oh, it's already gone. Okay, let's go ahead and check Richard Matthews. Uh, oh, he's gone already too. Dang it. Um, both of them. That was kind of a bummer. So I guess we keep going for something better. Alex 
Smith, 75. That's pretty solid. Can I get it? Dang it. I didn't see it. I was so I was seeing what the time was on the on how long I've been recording. Dang it. And it might have cost me. It might just have cost me. Okay, come on. The fact we've seen some actually some pretty good stuff as we went on, but just not getting it. Carson, Sam Bradford, you can make the case there, 86, uh, if you're confident that you can sell it for, you know, what I what I put mine up for. That's, well, I didn't even put it up because I have too many up, but. Willie Sneed, I'm going to buy it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust Willie Sneed. If he doesn't sell, I love me some Willie Sneed. But I, I do think, I do think I can sell it for, let's see. Okay, I, I can maybe like 16, so not too much there. Probably... Probably could have passed there um, if I really, really wanted to uh, try to hit something better. We might have to call it though. Unfortunately, uh, Eli at 15, you could make the case, but I didn't, didn't make the case earlier, so I don't think so. Let's do one more go around. So we're going to do this corner, and then we're going to go one more time. And then whatever it is, we will call it. There's a Willie Sneed again. But yeah, I think it was an okay deal. I don't think we're going to make more than like a thousand or so on Willie Sneed. But uh, we'll we'll see what happens. Do we buy this at 95? Um, this is like overpricing at its finest when you see cars like this. But we'll, we'll see. Twelve five one sold. Oh, he never sells though. Hardly sells. That's crazy. That is crazy. Monte Davis, we will buy that. Okay, there we go. I think something just sold, and that will give me a spot, and I'll go ahead and just put up Vonte. And then, so I'll let you guys know what I'm putting everything up for. So you can see it, and I'll let you know if I have to repost. Uh, we'll go ahead and refresh that, and we just bought it. One just sold 14, 15, 15, yes. All right, so we'll go ahead and put this up for about 14.5. Looks like that's a pretty good number. 14, whoops. Uh, you can, of course, always put it up for what you, the maximum that one sold for, but that is a little bit... Oh, a couple things sold. That's a little bit up in the air. Um, you never really know if that's going to happen. Let's see. If they, I don't know if these were all bought, but we do have a few things we still have to put up uh, in this half hour. Um, okay, I think we started with Ertz. So that Macklin was not. But everything else was uh, was put up. And you're, I'm going to show you just how this did. Uh, right one, did something just sell or was that something else? Okay, it was something else. Why are you giving me that notification? But I'll be right back. I'll show you and you'll see just how many coins we made by just overpricing. That's basically all we did this whole entire video. So we'll be right back and I'll show you. I know this video is a little long, but I'll be right back. All right, there you have it. Every single card sold. I had to repost Carson Palmer, William Gay, and Decker. I can't remember what his first name is. Those three cards, but everything else sold exactly for the price I said, I believe. Nothing else got reposted. That was pretty easy. I mean, you can honestly make like, I made a lot of coins. You can make so many coins, easily 50k in a half hour, just by not even knowing what you're doing, just like cheapest elite for a left tackle. Buy it and then sell it for like a couple thousand more. It's so simple that I hope I hope I was able to portray that. Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy. I know it wasn't like hardcore sniping, trying to get those big snipes. It's early on. It's a little hard. Uh, plus this is this is like so so easy. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys so much for the support. You guys are absolutely incredible. That's all I got. Chewbacca Lemma out.